Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Or hello, if you're just new. So, today, I'm going to be doing an I Saw It First and Pretty Little Thing haul because I've not done a haul for quite a long time and I just want to say, if my hair is a bit of a mess in this video, I do apologise because I brushed it. I am actually going to work in about half an hour, so I really do need to fly through this as quick as I can. So, first things first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with I Saw It First because, and I'm sorry to say, but I have actually opened the bag. Um, this came literally like weeks ago, so I've had to, obviously, I've had to see what was in it. I'm just so bad at that. Like, I'm so bad. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I've, but I've done well because I haven't opened this bad boy. Um, just getting a thumbnail there. The first thing that I picked out was a black cardigan because my black cardigan, cardigan, why are you not getting words out? My black, black, I'm just going to go on. <laughs> I think we should just cut this right now and try again tomorrow. Not that I've got time tomorrow, but anyway. First thing I got was a knitted black cardigan, which is mosses, may I add. Like, you can literally use this as a blanket. It's that big. So, it's long. It's a maxi cardigan and it has, if I can show you, it's inside out. I'm sorry about that. I have already worn this like two or three times. But if I just show you up close the material, so it's like a ribbed kind of fabric. It is quite thick though. It's perfect for this time of year where you're not exactly freezing your boobies off and you don't need a jacket as such. Uh, look what I've done. I have looped it already. It's fine. I'll try and sort that out. But I just want to show you. The sleeves are almost like a bat wing sort of one. So they're very wide, very floaty. I was literally wearing this the other day and as I was coming home, dad was like, what the hell are you wearing? You look like something off Harry Potter, you know, with his, um, <laughs> with his cloak on. So we're like, in this coat, in this cardigan even. It makes you feel like you want to do that now. Like literally because he said that, I just can't get it out of my head every time I wear it. But anyway, that's a different story. Um, I got this, I think in either an L or a medium. Not entirely sure it was either an L or a medium, but it was supposed to be 40 quid, it says on the website. Not a cat in L's chance would be paying that. Um, but I got it for 20 quid, which I didn't think is too bad. But like I say, it is very long and I'll do a try on for you now. Okay. Next thing I picked out, again, I have worn this. Sorry. Um, is a skirt. Now, I'm not a skirt kind of gal. I don't know if I've told you this before, but I'm just leggings, joggers, shorts, that, yeah, um, but this one's cute, it's like sort of that tennis, not skater, I won't say it's a skater skirt, but it is like tennis vibes, so it's ruffled, and then it's just like, obviously, as you can see, like this dark brown and black checked colour, I absolutely love this, so I was just picturing it with like some black tights and black boots, and then like a chunky I've actually paired it with that chunky black cardigan, but you can wear it with a jumper as well, either cream or either black again. Um, the one thing I will say is on the website, this looks kind of deceiving. Like it looks like it'd be more of a, I can't explain, but like a stiffer material. Whereas this, if you can see, it's stretchy um, and it feels quite thin, which I don't mind and because it is something I'd probably wear with tights now, obviously with it coming out in the spring. But yeah, this was... £10 as well. I think it was supposed to be 20 quid, which is just a rip-off. It's not a rip-off, but I personally wouldn't pay 20 quid. But I got a discount code, so I paid £10 for this. And I'll try it on. I'll pair it up so you can see what it looks like. By the way, guys, as well, if you are interested, I will link everything down below, as always. So don't worry about that. Right, and then the last thing that I picked out from Not Pretty Little Thing from I Saw It First was a white shirt, which I really do like this. And I have tried it on and managed to get foundation all over the collar, if you can see. That's just what I do best. But anyway, this one is described as balloon sleeves and then it's cuffed at the bottom. You can button it as well in case you want to like undo it and then roll it up your arms. Um, and 
yeah, I can't really explain it. It's just like a plain white shirt. You'll see what it looks like in the try-on clip. But how do you imagine this? At the moment, I don't know if you've noticed, but everybody's like styling them sort of like cable knit vests over or just like a jumper sort of vest, you know, with the tank sleeves. So yeah, I really needed a white shirt because I, I've got a short sleeve white shirt, which was like from summer, but um, I didn't have a long one. So I'll try this one on for you so you can see what it looks like. But I actually really like this. Unfortunately, I can't remember how much I paid for it, so I'll check back through my emails and I'll link, well, I won't link, but I'll insert it on screen now just so you can get a rough idea. There is loads of shirts out there, I know. Um, one thing I will say about that, it is a little bit, just a little bit see-through, but personally, because I'm because of the way that I'm planning on styling it with a vest, I'm not really too bothered, or I'll just wear like a nude or white brow underneath. So yeah. Moving on. Two pretty little thing. <laughs> Who do I think I am? Um, the main things that I got from here was shoes, to be honest. Like autumn, not autumn winter shoes, but basically I got a pair of boots and I got a pair of trainers and I also got some leggings or trousers from what I remember. But we're gonna jump straight in. Like I say, you girls are on a tight, tight time scale. So I'm just gonna open up the package. Come on, hun. Come on. Now, today is not the day to be taking the mix. These are the chunky white trainers. Ooh, I like them. I like them. I like them a lot. So these are what they look like. They have got like a chunky white bubble sole. The same on the other side, and then the white lace here. These were a bargain as well. I got them in a size five and they were down to 15 pounds. I think originally they were about 25 or 28 quid. So to 15 pounds, that's an absolute bargain. I hope they're comfortable because I know that some chunky white trainers aren't, but I'll try them on and I'll put them in like, if you are interested to see what they look like on foot, I'll um, insert a little, I'll insert a little try and clip for you. But yeah, I, I'm impressed with them. For 15 quid, they feel like such good quality love them i just hope they fit and i hope that they're comfortable but yeah you should probably already know you compare these bad boys with anything okay anything right because i'm just excited to see these i'm not even gonna lie i've been dreaming about these boots for so goddamn long I hope that they suit me. I'm seeing like loads of girls wearing them and styling them up like gorgeously. I'm really sorry for keep messing with my hair. It's actually driving me mad today. I feel like it makes my forehead look even bigger than what it is, but it is what it is. So, boom. Are you ready? Sit down. I don't think you're ready. You've got to be ready for this. I don't know if these are going to suit me, but this is what they look like. They are, as you can see, knee-high black croc boots. Um, I chose ones with, I think they're described as like, sorry, I've got a really itchy nose there. <laughs> these are described as square toe, because as you can see, they're a bit more squared off. I prefer that personally to pointed ones, and I can just vision these with like an all black outfit, or even like tight skinny jeans and a throw on big jumper or this with you know some sort of leggings and then a that chunky black knit cardigan it's a dream i don't know where i'm going in this dream but it's a dream so yeah i'm excited to try these on they have got sort of like a rounded block heel very sturdy and i'll just have to let you know if they're comfortable um i'll give you a thumbs up in the try on if they are comfortable if not i'll put a thumbs down just so you can see what they look like as well. Right, last thing. That's disappointing. I feel like this haul went really quick, which I'm kind of glad about because I have to get this video up pronto. Right, leggings. Strange material, guys. I'm not even going to lie. So these are what they look like. They're like a nude beige colour. They, they do give a bit of stretch. And from what I can see, they've got a seam going down the middle of the legs oh oh yeah i remember this is why i like these and because they've got like a split hem at the bottom so you've got like a little bit of ankle showing which i really like these again would go with them chunky chunky 
with them chunky white trainers. Um, these I got in a size 10 for reference in case you're interested. Um, the white shirt, I don't think I mentioned, but I probably got that in like a size 10 or 12 as well. Like I said, I'll link everything down below in case you're interested. Or just feel free to ask me any questions because you go, I got you back. So yeah, these feel weird. I'm kind of glad that they're stretchy. They are quite a thin material again. Um, and the nude and beige guys, like they're literally gonna go with everything. I've got um, a Hollister cream jumper, which I think will go with these and then the white trainers. Or I've also got like this, I'll show you. I've got this jacket from Zara, which is like a cord. Um, it's like a denim jacket, but it's not. It's like a cord one. That would go quite well together. Again, with them, them white trainers. Them white trainers, if you're comfy, if they're comfy, comfy, they're going to come in handy. So that's everything that I got today. Well, not today. This is going back a couple of weeks ago. But that's everything that I got. I hope that you like some of the bits and got a little bit of inspiration. Feel free to have a chat with me down in the description box. No, not in the description box, in the comments box. Um, I always answer all your comments if if you're nice. If you're not, obviously, I just either delete or ignore you. But yeah, please don't forget to subscribe as always. Can I just add on to the end of this video as well? I know that it's been a hot minute. I know that I haven't filmed in a while again but anyway the point that I'm getting at is I know that I've still got to do a giveaway haul yet a giveaway haul um a giveaway <sighs> I know that I've still got to do a giveaway giveaway video yet can't get my words out yeah um stay tuned for the video thank you so much for watching please hit subscribe if you haven't done already and until then I will see you in the next video which to be honest there's a spider stuck in my ring light <gasps> Guys, I'm not even messing. Straight after I've done this now, I'm going to have to try and get this spider out my ring light.